Hi, I'm Zbigniew Sikora, and this is your Daily Barometer News Blast for the week of June 30th. The season of start orientation sessions is upon us as incoming students come to campus to get a grasp on college life. The two-day sessions include times for students to meet with advisors, register for fall classes, and learn traditions, among the other intricacies of being a student at Oregon State. This orientation allows first-year students to build relationships with their peers before they come to OSU in the fall. Student Start Orientation Coordinator Carol Moreno advises new students to ask questions to help find their place at OSU. Search sessions will continue throughout the summer and will conclude on September 18th. Star Wars was the theme for the Corvallis Knights doubleheader with each game shortened to seven innings. The first team the Knights played against was the Australian Baseball League's Perth Heat Colts, a team which Knights head coach Brooke Knight won back-to-back -back ABL titles with as the manager. The Knights scored six runs with help, six doubles, and 11 hits, and the defense held Perth to only three runs. In the nightcap, the Knights found themselves trailing in the seventh inning 4-3. Thanks to a bases-loaded walk, the Knights tied the game. Tanner Cantwell was summoned to the plate with the bases loaded and no outs. Cantwell hit a sacrifice fly to center field and the Knights won 5-4. The Knights will go on to face the Gresham Grey Wolves for the last series of the first half of the season. For complete stories from this week's News Blast, you can visit our website at orangemedianetwork.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media and make sure to pick up the month's issue of the Barometer on the newsstands around campus. From all of us here at Orange Media Network, I'm Zbigniew Sikora. Thank you for tuning in.